Hey, what's up, guys? Toogie here, back again. And can you believe it? It's already time to talk about more NHL 24. We had, of course, the big reveal trailer last week that really kind of sent shockwaves throughout the community with just how much information was out there. And, of course, the different approach that the new leads have had in regards to the open communication and getting the news out there. And that continues here with the, and I hate this term, the world of chell trailers so in this video i am going to be pausing the footage i'm going to be talking over the trailer if you want to watch it on your own time as god intended the link is in the description to go check out the trailer if you haven't done that also make sure to go to the channel and check out the uh, check out the big uh, reveal trailer breakdown that i had from last week it's it's a big one it's a big one uh, but yeah the World of Chell trailer. I know that it's not the thing that I focus on the most here on this channel. We do play club games quite a bit on Twitch, though, uh, especially as the year goes on. But I want to I want to talk about this because, like I said, there is that new sense of optimism I feel from the vast majority of the community, and I you know I think things are going the right way. So even if it is World of Chell, we're gonna talk about it. Let's get down to business. Shout out to Mike Engelhart leading the way, who again is one of the new leads. Mike and Chris uh, really making the push for this game to take that step forward. And again, for the dev team to have as much open and honest communication as they have ever had. Of course, there are some of the things in this that we have already known, that we already heard about from the reveal trailer. We know that crossplay is in the game. Now, of course, if you're in the same console generation series, uh, Xbox Series consoles and PS5, play against each other, play on the same team, same for PS4, Xbox One, you know the deal, which again is welcome, It's it was where they were always going with crossplay, but it's nice that it's finally up to snuff. God damn it! There is now unranked, uh, you know, the funny thing is about Mike, he is a big, big fan of Rocket League, and rightfully so, Rocket League's amazing. Um, this was one of the things I think that he really kind of wanted was that idea of like, okay, cool. You can have casual, you can have ranked because NHL hasn't really had that ash all of we'll talk about that in a second, but it is that idea. And we kind of mentioned it in the reveal trailer, the fact that you can, uh, have two or three players and look for sixes games and take players from the drop in system onto your club. And who knows, maybe you find new friends and, you know, long-term players and stuff like that. Instead of like we had to do back in the old days of, Posting on forums and, and Reddit of, hey, looking for a left wing. Now you can just do it within the game. So, hey, that's cool. It's it's Ash Alv, or as they call it, Eshel Evolved. What a color scheme, by the way. But this is one of the things I'm excited the most about. The most recent games, the playoff format in Eshel has been fucking terrible. It really has been. I just haven't been a fan. I think this is what people always wanted. Even back in the day when we had the playoffs and stuff like that in the 360 PS3 era, this is what people always wanted. You have your four rounds. You have to win four games to go to the next round. If you lose four, you're eliminated. Beautiful. Perfect. Why wasn't? Why hasn't it been this for the past 10 years? No idea. But thank God that's what the format is now. Very, very excited for this for sure. It's a great, great change. As he mentions here in the trailer, you don't have to play 100 games of playoffs to stay competitive with people who have more time than you. It's just, hey, win your games, do so in convincing fashion, and get to see the cutscenes that are normally reserved for franchise mode, just with less people on the ice. And here, of course, they talk about the casual three-on-three -three mode as well, which, again, is a, is a good change. Like I said, I think very Rocket League inspired in a lot of ways. Creation Zone is the main reason I'm doing this. I mentioned that the Creation Zone had been overhauled in the reveal trailer breakdown. This is what it looks like now. And again, this is not only for online, it is for offline as well. When you go to create players, this is what it will look like. You have the ability to much, much more quickly change things out and do what you want to do. There is still no randomize option, which I have immensely complained about. Uh, but it is that idea of like, you know, you click the eye towards the bottom right there for details to put in your player name and stuff like that. It's going to take a little bit to get used to for someone like me in terms of roster editing. But there's no doubt in my mind, this is a significantly improved uh, system that I am very, very happy to see. I mean, Creation Zone had basically been the same. What, since NHL 07? Pretty much. I mean, outside of like some stylistic changes and adding in 
more celebrations and stuff like that, it had been the same for so, so long. And not only it to see a change, but not change for the sake of change, but to improve it is is great. Almost as great as that mullet. And here's here's another big one. The battle pass, of course, has been added. Not quite to the same level of uh, NBA 2K adding their battle pass into the game. I don't think it's quite as uh, as scummy or money grubbing personally, but the bag mechanic is finally gone. Thank God. And again, this, as he explains in the video, the idea of this was you shouldn't have to open 500 bags to get a jersey tuck. You should just be able to do what the hell you want to do. You should be able to wear what you want to wear. Why are we having you open bags to get Senator stuff if you're a Leafs fan? You're never going to wear the shit. So this was a very, very uh, welcome change. And as you can see here with the Battle Pass itself, which he also mentioned in the video, everyone gets the uh, first season of the Isha Battle Pass for free. Uh, but you do notice there in the top right hand corner, of course, you have essentially, uh, I believe it's called grind, but you have your like Chell currency. And then, of course, there is also uh, the option for points, which, yes, uh, is a is an interesting one. But again, it's it's a battle pass and it's all cosmetic at the end of the day right there is no idea of like okay you absolutely have to buy it's it's the fortnite model and at the end of the day i'm good with it i'm surprised it wasn't this way to begin with when they first added in the bag system but like i said i'm, I'm good with this like if there's something that you want to get hey cool go ahead and if, hey if you don't then you don't have to get the battle pass it's not going to give someone a competitive advantage it's not like they went back to the nhl 13 system of, oh, you can spend five bucks to get a plus five shooting on your guy. I know a lot of people want that old system back, but yeah, I'm good with this. I mean, I don't really see how people could view this as a negative addition. It's it's the natural step. And he, you know, he mentions in the video as well. And of course, like player ban. Again, I mentioned Rocket League, right? Look at that. Uh, you know, he mentioned as well that most of the items that you get will carry over. I believe the wording for that is like, hey, year on year, there might be something that they have to get rid of. Um, I don't believe it's going to be I don't believe it's necessarily going to be a thing where it's like, oh, well, hey, you know, they're not going to make you buy the same stuff year in and year out. Of course, here is a special character class. And again, this is the idea of there is a custom character skin. That would be their loadout with the abilities that they have and the boost that they have their attributes um are set as it says special character classes are specific to the special character they belong to you can technically use it by a custom character but it is that idea of like oh okay here's bones he's the the he's a pmd class and this is his special attire you'll have the same thing for like power forward snipers it's just the idea of like oh okay here are these specialty classes that you know might you know it might be fun to use on occasion obviously i feel like most people will still very much have their go-to classes initial if they're going you know super try hard with it and here is another example of the store so you can see like all of these you know for example like you would just be able to buy off of just playing the game which again is great which is great Ooh, let me go back there really quickly just a just a smidge yeah, so I mean, again, there is the idea, like they have the option to get NHL points, of course. I mean, that was always going to be a thing, but a lot of it is just like, hey, play the game. You can earn what you want to, essentially. Like they are still, and I, I get it. This will be the one where like, oh, he's, he's shilling. But like, really, they have shown way more reserve in terms of monetizing this than I ever would have thought that they would have. I mean, I, I could see a world where every single one of these costs 99 cents. Instead of just in-game currency that you can earn. Shout out to the, uh, I don't know why, the Oddler Mannheim. It, it's funny, <laughs> one thing I was hoping for, was some new goalie masks, of course, because we still don't have a mask creator in the game, and we won't because the community can't be trusted at large. Um, but it's just that idea of like still being able to heavily differentiate the new masks from the old masks just by the shine on the equipment. From full cross play, oh, goodness but yeah those are the uh the big changes there's the michigan that's about to be that's about to be controversial yield michigan
And again, some of the look at, uh, you know, again, a lot of these items had been in before. You know, like you see, like, the Christmas sweaters there and stuff like that. Like, I think the vampire attire is still in that weird camo jersey. Yeah, that one that was up there for half a second. There's a lot of new stuff, though, too, which is good. Gotta love the Sabres jersey, by the way, though. Gotta love I, you know, coincidentally. Coincidentally. Yeah, I got got mine right here. Bruins fan and all, but I mean, Jesus Christ, the goat head. To Top jerseys of all time. But yeah, that is uh that is that. So I do think the reveal trailer took some of the steam out of this particular trailer, just for the fact that we did learn a good amount last week. Uh, but it is that idea of, you know, I like the fact that they're hammering home, you know, the changes to this mode that were so desperately needed. Like I said. You know, you're going to get to the point where it's like, all right, here's the franchise changes. Be appropriate. It's probably just going to be like a blanket statement, I presume. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, the, even me as a franchise player, primarily, I don't mind that it might end up being a light year for franchise mode, that it will be a light year for franchise mode because a mode like ASHL needed this so, so desperately. <laughs> they really, really did. But I'm intrigued to know what you guys think, as always, especially, you know, for those of you here, I mean, Obviously, a good amount of the community that I have here plays EASHL, but a good amount of you don't as well. So I'm intrigued. Is this enough to kind of get you to be like, yeah, I'm going to take a look again. And maybe it's not, you know, so I mean, the word grind comes to mind, especially with the bag system. The idea of like, hey, I want a jersey tuck. Let me play 500 games. I hope I get this bag. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Again, we'll continue to follow along with all the NHL 24 news that comes out. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Although it's not like everyone else in the community is making the same damn video. Uh, with that, I will be back as soon as there's NHL 24 news. Or, of course, when there's franchise modes being uploaded every, <clears throat> every single day. Oh, what? Anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.